before all that, our automotive archaeologist Chris Routledge really does get down and dirty, searching for more motoring classic gold. There's such a huge variety of many British post-war cars, but there's, there's everything here. There's this fabulous Rover 3500S. It was a great car in period. And then there's this Humber. In its day, this was a really expensive car. You know, this is sort of a top-end bank manager type car. It's the collector's obsession. They've just got to get the next one. They've just got an addiction, if you will. Places like this are where some of the great barn discoveries get made because you just don't know what's behind that wall. Wow, just this one room alone is amazing. Look at this, what a fantastic barn. Wow, there's a little bit of everything in here. An old, very, very early speedometer, 80 miles an hour. And this lovely old Austin very much an everyday car from the 1930s. A Jaguar E-Type bonnet, the front of a Morris. And that is something you do not see every day. That's a very, very rare car. Now this is either an Abbott or a Crayford Capri convertible, which was just about one of the coolest cars that you could drive in the period. Well, the interior is completely stripped out. No dashboard, no seats front, no seats back, no carpets, no door trims. It's definitely a Crayford, you can tell just by the, the back. The Crayfords were the prettier, the better looking one. Many people have built tribute cars, if you like. They've taken a normal Capri and they've cut the roof off and they try to make it look like a Crayford, but there really is only one. They've probably built less than 40. I don't know how many survive and how many real ones survive, but this is a real one. There's no question about it. I want to find out if this is a 1.6 or the big three litre. It's just an interesting point for me to find out. So let's see what we've got under here. Ah, well, there you go. That's not my answer. In fact, that's not going to answer any questions. open you can really see those coach built Crayford lines that really transform you know what was the Capri Coupe that we saw every day in the streets to this exotic sexy car it was a very very elegant and expensive conversion but really really worth the money I can imagine this in the time that would have been something that would have stopped the traffic what I want to do, I really want to be able to picture this car in my head, you know, on that sunny day on the King's Road in you know, 1971 and 72. I'd love to try and find what the original colour was. Beautiful, look, that's the original Ford light metallic green right there. That's the original paint. That's the original colour. This is an original 1970s Ford Crayford Capri conversion. It's a convertible Ford Capri done by a well-recognized firm of coach builders. It's a very, very special car. In its current condition, it's probably worth 5,000 pounds. Quite a lot for a Ford Capri in this state, but think what it is. Fully restored, 40, maybe even 50,000 pounds. Absolutely a worthwhile thing to do. I mean, shock, horror, a Capri in Essex. What next? A larder in Moscow? But what a Capri. I mean, he's yeah. right. There were only 30 of 
yeah. as crazy for Capri's ever made. And get this, Jode. Yeah. They cost more in 1969 than a Jaguar E-Type yeah. convertible. Just, so they were really, really hot. £2,400 in 1969. Unbelievable. And I mean, I love how Chris actually really got dirty in there. It was good. It was well, a beautiful looking car. The reason why he was so excited is that, you know, you could buy that for five grand as a wreck. Yeah. Spend maybe 20, 25 grand restoring it and still, still have really a really good old margin to make some money and bring that car back to life. Right, what am I sitting on? You know what this means? It means classic car ads. I've been